Julia, he resigned even though on Tuesday he was holding his head high and saying he was defending the company's bottom line, he was doing the right thing. What caused him to actually give up the ghost? That's right. He resigned. Um, yesterday was a holiday in Brazil and the government uh, announced wh how they were going to compensate for the diesel uh, price cut that they promised uh, truckers. And they also announced Parinchi had a meeting with uh, President Temer. And right after this meeting, which was scheduled for 11 o'clock local, so not even an hour ago, Petrobras uh, released a filing saying the CEO had resigned um, and really gave no, no other information at this point. I mean, he was credited with turning around a state-controlled oil company. Do we know who's going to be taking the helm next? This must be why the shares are falling so significantly, Julia. We don't know yet. We're still... Uh dealing with the, the breaking news. Uh, the shares did tank a lot. Uh, they were suspended in, in Brazil, but in New York they were tr uh, down almost 10 percent. Petrobras didn't say who the interim CEO would be, um, and the government is holding a press conference which should start momentarily to, to explain. The first reactions we got from analysts and even politicians was that this is obviously not good news for Petrobras, which had been thriving under Parinchi and his um, pricing policy that he implemented with the free market uh, pricing. Yes, I mean, what does it mean going forward for shareholders and, and debt holders and uh, for the citizens, Julia? I mean, will there be a different tack taken by the interim CEO now? That's a good question, and it depends. It depends on, on whether... Uh Pedro Parinche resigned because he was being pressured to change uh, pricing policy and what this new CEO, whoever he is, will be pressured or not pressured into doing. What had been uh, boosting Petrobras was the fact that they were no longer controlling uh, prices and no longer selling fuel for a long time, um, losing money compared to international oil and currency prices. We need to see how this policy is moving forward and it's just too early for us to tell at this point.